Are you heading to Animal Kingdom and need some tips? Well, we have a video for you. Stick around to the very end because we have one of the most important tips for you guys to see. So, come with us. So I wanted to interrupt and let you guys know that today's video is brought to you by Hoka Shoes. Uh, we are affiliated with them and we absolutely love these shoes. These are our theme park shoes. They are great for walking, running, or anything. They are great on our feet and they even make recovery shoes for you to use. So we highly recommend these shoes. These are mine. These are the Rincon 3s. Ashley wears the Bondi 8s and she absolutely loves them. I plan on getting another pair very, very soon. But these are the Rincon 3s. I chose red because it is my favorite color. So anyway, use the link in the description box below to get your pair today. It really helps us out bring you quality videos that you guys like to watch. All right, back to the video. Welcome back to BA Adventures where we are going to give you guys our top 10 tips and tricks of Animal Kingdom. It is at the Walt Disney World Resort and it is one of the smaller mm -hmm. parks that they have there. However, not land size. No. It's pretty well close yeah. because this park offers um, a lot of animals to see. Yeah. Number one, hence Animal Kingdom. And it is very based around um, Walt's love for, well, conserving animals. Yeah, the environment. And, and the environment. So mm -hmm. we are going to discuss several different things. We're going to discuss our rope drop strategy. Yes. Uh, where to eat. Yes. Our Genie Plus. Yes. Strategy. strategy. Shows. <laughs> yes. And even the one at the very end that you should stick around for that we mentioned before. Mm -hmm. So anyway, do you want to just dive right into this? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Tip number one. Uno. So rope dropping. Um, mm -hmm. If you're a rope dropper, which I suggest you should be, you're going to want to rope drop Flight of Passage, Absolutely. which is in the Pandora area. It is the big ride of Animal Kingdom. It is yeah. perhaps my favorite ride at Disney World. I love it. And so, so immersive. Uh huh. And then when you are going through the line, I think we waited. We rope dropped it. Yeah. Um, I think we waited about thirty minutes. Yeah, I think that was the longest that we waited at the rope drop. Um, and we again, we only went one day. Yes. To Animal Kingdom for our visit, mm -hmm. and we rope dropped. I mean, we went straight there, mm -hmm. and before going, we were looking at this ride, and it reaches wait times of like hundred and forty minutes. So that's why it is so, so important to rope drop it. And you won't end up wasting your money on maybe a lightning lane. Does it even yeah, have lightning lane? It does. It does, correct. It is the yeah. ride that has the lightning lane. Yeah. So you don't want to pay for an individual lightning lane to go ride it when you can rope drop it, ride it, because this is one ride that it doesn't matter if you ride it day or night. It is enclosed. You have a screen in front of you, and it's just so immersive. Mm -hmm. so. I think one of the cool parts about Flight of Passage is just the lion queue itself. Yeah. It's immersive. You were in the world of Pandora, mm -hmm. and um, it is very neat to actually just stand in line. I, no, I don't want to wait in line for two hours, but I do want to see mm -hmm. some of that queue. Yeah, I agree. And when rope dropping, make sure to stay left. Yes. Just stay left <laughs> the entire time and go right into Pandora, but don't go left for go don't go left once you get into Pandora. Mm -hmm. It is to the right. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a so, crowd of people that's heading that way anyway, yeah, you'll so see follow it. the crowd. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. Tip number two. Tip number two. Um, so this is a Genie Plus tip, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we did use Genie Plus. I don't think Genie Plus is mandatory in that park. I will put that out there, disclaimer. Maybe not. Not um, so much, no. Yeah. But if you are going to use Genie mm. Plus, I believe the best thing to use it for in the very beginning at 7 a.m. is to book that Navi River Journey ride. Yeah. Um, it's a great ride. It's um, immersive as well as um, Flight of Passage, and mm -hmm. you get to see that amazing animatronic. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The animatronic of the priestess. Yes. She's so cool. Yeah. Like, like super, super cool. Mm -hmm. And, like, the song and everything yeah. going through that. It's I, I honestly really enjoyed that ride, and I agree. Mm -hmm. um, you hit that 7 o'clock virtual queue for Navi River Journey. You rope drop your... Um, Flight, of Passage. Flight of Passage, and then you go ride Navi River, and that's all they've really got for rides in the Avatar yeah. area, but there are some other things that you can do there, uh, okay. which we will talk about uh, later on okay. in this video. So, all right, moving on to tip number three. Oh. <laughs> tip so. number three, oh, wrong park. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think what you should do is go straight to the safari. 
Um, sometimes we booked it with our Genie yeah. Plus right after the river. However, mm -hmm. um, Safari is a great ride, I think. Yeah. Um, you should also at least do it more than once, maybe, because you're mm -hmm. going to get different things going on in that safari. Yeah. You're going to see different animals, potentially. You're going to get different information from your tour guides. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great ride, honestly. As long as you've got a different tour guide. You yeah. know, it could be the same. You, you could be one of the mm -hmm. rare people that get the same person each time. <laughs> But, yes, I agree. You're going to see different animals. Uh, a lot of people rope drop the safari just so that they can see, like, the lions. Yeah. So that is something if you're going to spend an extra day at Animal Kingdom. Um, I don't recommend that, though. Yeah, I don't recommend doing that. So, I mean, we saw a lion, and it was, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, she was sleeping, you know. She, but <laughs> still got to see a lion. Yeah. So, And the animals were very active still, mm -hmm. too. So. Um, the next tip number four tip number is going to be, we are, this. This um, is great. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe the, the Lion King show is the best show yes. at, um, Animal Kingdom. hundred percent. It is incredible. Um, the singing, the, the stunts, it's just the story. It's so and good. So I want to put this out there. It's not like something that's going to wow you wow you in my opinion mm -hmm. but it's something that's like i want to be involved in this mm -hmm. so to speak you know like of course the stunts they do are, are amazing don't get me wrong mm -hmm. that that does wow me but like just the the thing that they do in there in the story you're just sitting there going like oh, oh yeah 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 i want to i want to be a part of that so i that, like that's it. that's how i felt with it and i felt like it was like broadway-esque your singing was like on point. Oh yeah. Um, it was Their really timing good. was impeccable. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we actually um, used Genie Plus for Lion King. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like it was well worth it. There was a long line waiting to get in. Um, we booked mm -hmm. it, walked in. I think five minutes, ten minutes before the show, yeah. and walked right into our seats, and we didn't have to wait mm -hmm. in line or anything. Um, so that was really nice to have. I think it is much better than Finding Nemo. Let's not talk about that um, Finding Nemo story. I show. fell asleep during Finding Nemo. I did too. I was tired. Granted, I was tired. However, it was not the best show. Lion King, no bueno. 100% is way better. I think Disney needs to look at the Nemo show and fix it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on to... <laughs> are we on tip five? Yes! Already? Oh my gosh, this is going to be a quick video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you definitely need to ride Dinosaur before they close it down. Oh. So, okay, they're not closing it down. They're going to re-theme it. They're going to re-theme it to Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Kind of like they're re-theming Splash Mountain over at Magic Kingdom yeah, to Tiana's exactly. Bayou. It's going to be the same ride because these, there's an Indiana Jones ride out in Disneyland at, is it California Adventure? I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one it is either. Somebody in the mm -hmm. comments, comment below, let us know. Okay, we did not research that one too closely, but we do know it is out in Disneyland. It is the same exact ride mechanics. It takes the same exact track. They just need to change the overlay. Yeah. So I think that that transition won't take as long. I think it'll be very Other quick. than the outside. Yeah. And the outside still looks like very labby, temple -y mm -hmm. looking. So Indiana Jones will be easy to switch that to. And that's also going to be an Encanto area. So mm -hmm. that area may be a lightning lane sort of like mm -hmm. thing in the future so i think it, it'll be good um mm -hmm. just try and ride a dinosaur if you want to before it closes yeah. down i agree and a little bonus tip on top of that dinosaur one is as you're leaving watch the monitors up ahead you'll oh, get to yeah. see aladar running through the through the hallways <laughs> and stuff it's it's hilarious it's funny it really is funny yeah. to watch it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty hilarious so all right so man tip number six we are rocking this one so, there are bleachers from, um, there was a show at one time in the pond area. Kite tails? Yes, kite tails. And or it was not... Tails or fright tails. Yeah. Anyway, so those bleachers, um, are actually kind of cool to sit down, eat a snack, um, just kind of relax a little bit. Chill. Yeah. Yeah, we chill, mm -hmm. for sure. And there was a surprise that we saw. We got to see the boats with, um... The characters, yes, the Nico. characters on it. Um, Santa Goofy. was on there. Yeah, as well. Santa was on because we went during Christmas mm -hmm. time. And so you wave at them the way mm -hmm. back, and you kind of get some cool photos and stuff like that. Uh, there was also 
Oh my gosh. The pilot from DuckTales. Why can't I think of his name? Launchpad. Yeah. Launchpad. Yeah, Launchpad. Yeah, he was on there. McDuck or something? Yeah, no, it's Launchpad McQuack, I think, um, like that. I think is his name. But Launchpad was one of the guys on the boat. Which so. is surprising, because it's like a 90s like TV show, uh-huh. isn't it? Like, but, I mean, we're 90s kids, so yeah. back off. No, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's interesting to see those kind of characters, because they yeah. don't keep them in the parks rotating very much. I Not very like, much, so. no. But it was really nice to see him. And plus the Animal Kingdom, and he's like an animal. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, tip number seven. You're gonna take this one because you really enjoy this. I'm gonna take this one. Is yeah. this the cheeseburger bao buns? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you <laughs> go back to Pandora. If you are looking for a solid lunch, like not something that's gonna be too super filling, but something that's savory and like uber delicious. And if you are a Maid Right fan, and if you know what Maid Right is, let us know. You better freaking yeah. subscribe to this <laughs> and let like us know. it. <laughs> because uh, I love Maid Ride there. They're basically their loose meat burger sandwich. It's one of my favorite uh, places to eat. When he uh, says loose meat, it means like ground beef. Yeah, yeah. Gr- mm-hmm. Ground ground beef, um, but it's not in patty form. It's just kind of just thrown on top. Kind of like taco meat, but it's not taco meat. It's just, it's steamed meat is what it is. It's good, okay? It's, it's so good. good. <laughs> Trust me, try it. Anyway, and super greasy, but these bao buns. Okay, if you know what a bao bun is, it's like dough and it's like folded up like this. It looks like kind of like a water droplet, but it's all like bread. And inside of this is they've taken cheeseburger meat and cheese and uh, pickles and, really and, and mustard and ketchup. <laughs> and it, it's just heaven in the mouth. I'm just saying. <laughs> it is super delicious. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if it's steamed meat or not, but I know it's not greasy meat. No, it's not greasy. It was really, really, like, uber savory. I wanted more, like, they give you two buns and some chips with your with your meal. Now, you can go and order a snack and just be one bun. I don't recommend that. I recommend the two buns. And it was not overly priced, I don't mm-hmm. feel. I think it was maybe, like, 12 to $13.00. I could be wrong. It may be up to seventeen, but don't hold that. Don't hold me to that, because um, prices change like all the time at Disney World. Yeah. So, anyway, highly recommend that. It is at the Satuli Canteen in Pandora. It's kind so, of like right when you walk out of Flight of Passage. It is. It is. And like, honestly, when you look at it, and this is what I really enjoyed about this place, was when you looked at it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm at an outpost in Pandora. And, like, this is a marine, like, eating place of, like, you know, random. That's just how it felt. And it was really cool. You walk in and you get it. Uh, mobile order that also. I mean, like, mobile ordering is your best friend at Disney World. So just good. So good. It's a little bonus tip there. But, yeah, highly recommend these bao buns uh, or cheeseburger pods, as some people call them. Mm-hmm. They are... Probably one of actually they are one of my favorite things to eat at Disney World that I had. So anyway, so. um, I also love that restaurant. Um, how, how do you say it? San Rui? San Tuli. San Tuli. I'm sorry. Tuli. Tuli. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I did not get that. I wanted to try something different, mm-hmm. so we could try different foods. Um, and I got some kind of noodle stuff. I can't remember the name of it, but it was very yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I liked his better. But it, mine was very oh, you clearly. had the blue noodles, didn't mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. But the noodles weren't blue. They didn't have the blue noodles mm-hmm. at the time, so she had to use the regular ones. Which, which is fine. It was still of, really I good. I the blue noodles were freaking yeah. cool. But, like, it's kind of cool because they kind of theme this food to be Pandora. You're not getting, you know, like a regular cheeseburger. You're not yeah. getting regular noodles and a piece of meat. Yeah. It, was, it was very neat. Yeah, they're kind of theming it around, like, what materials you might mm-hmm. have on the planet of Pandora to make this food. And that's yeah. what I that's what I really enjoyed about it as well. For sure. Oh, 100%. So. <laughs> All right, we're on tip number eight. So, leading with Pandora, you've oh, got yes. to look watch it at night. You've got I to go there at night, time when the sun Pandora goes down. Um, the bl- bio so luminous. What they, they have, like, so if you are familiar with the movie Avatar, mm-hmm. I don't mean to interrupt you. Okay. But if you are familiar with the movie Avatar, um, you will know that at nighttime, all of the plants are bioluminescent, mm-hmm. which means that they glow um, at night. Uh, a very pretty green, blue, purplish, mm-hmm. cool feeling color. 
um, they have recreated that in Pandora. And not a lot of people get to see Pandora at night because Animal Kingdom closes at like 7 o'clock, sometimes yes. 8. Yeah. And in the summertime, it's still daylight out. Yeah, which is very unfortunate. But if you go during the times where the sun it is, gets dark yeah. at 5, 30, 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. you've still got an hour or two of nighttime. And what they've done is they've taken black lights and used UV reactive paint on the ground. And, like, they've done it so well. It looks absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It is. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. it and re you can hear all the animals, like, moving around. You know, they'll, they'll, they have that kind of thing where you think you there's an animal beside you and there's mm -hmm. not. It, it, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Well, so, to put it into perspective, if you ride Navi River Journey, it is an indoor water ride. Dark ride. Or, or indoor mm -hmm. boat ride, I should yeah. say. And it is dark. But it is also all lit up the same way. Mm -hmm. So that will be the same thing on the outside. Maybe not as vibrant mm -hmm. as inside, but it's still really cool. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely a must do if you're there at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, man, we are getting really close to that <laughs> super <laughs> important tip. So, so I think tip, tip number, number nine, nine is going to be you need to take your time in this park. Uh -huh. um, don't rush around everywhere. Just enjoy that park. Um, mm -hmm. it is a, it is a large distance kind of park too. So if you go from Pandora all the way to Mount Everest, you're going, you're trekking quite a bit. Yeah, I will say. And also, don't forget to ride Everest. Yes, it's a fun it's a one. roller. It's a little bonus tip right there. Yeah. But yeah, um, definitely take your time and enjoy mm -hmm. this park. Um, go look at the animals. You know, yeah. um, they definitely have. It seems like almost every year there's a new baby animal. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think right now they have a baby elephant. Go look at the babies. They're yeah. they're adorable, they and they adorable. pride. This park is so prideful about their um, their babies coming into the park. So. Oh yeah, because it's a new member of the family. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So anyway, 10. the final tip, the most important tip. Yes. And that is that this is not a very big park, and there are not a lot of things here, so you could consider it to be a half day park. Mm -hmm. Um. However, we did not consider that. We wanted to... Enjoy all of it. Enjoy all of mm -hmm. it. And we kind of made it our, like, rest day. Yes. So to speak, uh, this is the one... This is the park that you can go to and you can do everything in half a day. Mm -hmm. Now, when we mentioned that we were sitting in the bleachers, chilling out, watching the boats go by, we had done everything already. Yeah. Practically, I, yeah. I, I, I know I'm saying that in, like... And I'm saying it very lightly... To the fact that, like, we rope drop Pandora, mm -hmm. uh, Flight of Passage, and then we shot over to Everest instead mm -hmm. because we couldn't get Navi River Journey at seven, but we could get it later on. Yeah. And so that's what we did. So we did that. And then mm -hmm. after Everest, we did, was that Navi River Journey right after dinosaur. Everest? Oh, we, did, we went to mm -hmm. Dinosaur because it was a five minute wait. Yeah. Uh, it was a five minute wait, actually, like basically all day. There was mm -hmm. one point where it jumped up to 15 minutes. But I think that's because everybody finally got off a flight of passage. <laughs> but no, so there was that. And there was also, there's also some very cool meet and greets like Moana is there. Yes. Uh, the Safari, Mickey and Minnie are there mm. as well as Donald uh, has his own area. Chip and Dale's Chip and dresses as dinosaurs. Dresses dinosaurs over by the dinosaur mm. area. Well, I mean, it's Dino Land yeah. in that area. So... That being said, like like we were saying, this park is basically like a rest day park, but you're still in the parks, so to speak. I um, think if it did not turn dark um, for us, we probably would have left earlier. Um, but we yeah. did close the park down. We went to experience the darkness in um, Pandora and all mm -hmm. the lights and everything it has to offer at night. And then we jumped on Flight of pas Passage mm -hmm. the, at, at it, the very end. Yeah, so at night, when things start turning dark, everybody starts to leave. And they don't know about Pandora turning dark. And this is, this is like during the daylight savings time where it gets dark like five, six o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, go in there, hang out, look around. And then keep your eyes on Flight of Passage mm -hmm. because walking up through that at night and looking down yes. over Pandora is actually super beautiful. So 
yes, it's a half day park, but don't miss out on the nighttime stuff, I guess no, is what we're trying no, to no. say. Like, like still do tip. What tip was that? Seven or eight? What tip? I don't remember. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let me look real quick. Um, the eight. Okay, so tip eight. Still uh, do that. Still do that. Still see Pandora at night. But if this is like... You know, if you've hit Magic Kingdom and Epcot like we did before, and then you hit Animal Kingdom, it might be like your little rest day. Yeah. Don't get super overwhelmed with Animal Kingdom. It is like the least stressful park to be involved in. If you want to spend a whole day there, we absolutely support that. Yeah. Um, I even support it. I would do another full day there. Just to see Pandora at night again. Um, and they're adding to the park, like we mentioned mm -hmm. um, in Encanto, Encanto and Indiana Jones. So, so I think that that's going to bring more people in. That's going to be mm -hmm. more interested in it. And I'm yeah. super excited for those additions to the I park. I am too. I am too. Very excited for that. But right now, before those things get put in, it is still a half day park. Like if we were to go, like if we were to go tomorrow and do our full week again, mm -hmm. I would definitely do animal kingdom as a half day and then go back to the hotel and sleep yeah and chill out replenish mm -hmm. maybe resort hop mm -hmm. a couple places or just go back and hang out at the resort in the pool yeah so that would be what my my plan would be so anyway that being said we hope these tips and tricks helped you on your animal kingdom uh adventure mm -hmm. and your future trip there as well so anyway to keep up with this series of our top 10 tips and tricks of Disney World Parks. And plus, we're going to do one as Disney World as a whole. So definitely don't miss that one. That one's going to dive into some more like... Nitty gritty. Nitty gritty stuff <laughs> of like, this is what you absolutely must do sort of thing. So anyway, if you want to keep track of that and stay a part of this as people who do not live in Florida, we do not go to the parks all the time, we might be the people for you. So don't forget about that. <laughs> That being said, if we are, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so that you guys don't miss any more of our theme park videos, news, adventures, or tips and tricks like this one. And with that, bring on the next adventure. Bye, guys.